how, do, how does the presence of the Spirit relate to my new spirit? Here's my, here's my, my best shot. I was going to use a lava lamp, but I figured nobody would know what they were. So I'm just going to say you've got this big, big ball of soft, warm clay. And, and it's, you can do like this with it. It's no particular shape. Or it might be shaped like a dollar bill. That's your heart. And the new heart is soft, it's not hard. And the Holy Spirit, like, like my, take my fist, he's pushing himself up into this clay like this. Going, like this. Okay? And in there, he's starting to flex his character. He's got... Things he loves and things he hates and things he does. He starts to just kind of form himself. And you, this, this clay, is starting to take on the form of what's forming in you. Oh, that Christ would be formed in you, Paul said. And it's you who need to be formed, not just Christ. Christ doesn't want to get in there and be himself and have you stay old. He, he's being himself in you so that as he, as he stretches out his love finger and his, his uh, I didn't think of all the details. <laughs> you add the details. He's just stretching out his character in all his wonderful ways. That's you. You're shaped that way. That's who you are. That's your heart. And, and it can happen to your heart because it's soft. It's flesh. It's, it's not a stone anymore that was keeping him out. And saying no thank you to Jesus.